More light. Thank you for oh, tapping into another episode of Unbiased Opinions. <laughs> we are your host, the spiritual wonderer suave. The fat nigga three. Oh my bad. Justin Bieber Key. Uh and the one and only man. Lennon, I'm back. I'm back. I missed a couple weeks. My bad, fellas. A couple weeks? Yeah, I missed last week I was out of town. And then the week before I had got invited to the Golden Knights game. I had to had to take the free tickets. I ain't mad at that. I would have never. I, ain't, I still ain't never been to a game. I ain't never been to a professional sports game of any kind. Really? Never. In your whole, not a I basketball I would have never guessed that. Nothing. I went to one basketball game. I still live in New York. We never answered. We didn't get to say who else oh, yeah, was yeah. yeah, that's what I was about Can to say. We got a special guest I'm today. I apologize, y'all. It's okay. It's just blue. <laughs> I'm just back. We will, we'll it's just blue. Just back. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and it's not a sex talk, y'all. It's not a sex talk. It's not a sex talk. <laughs> You know, this the guru right here. Everybody yeah. tapping in with yeah. me on? I know that. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not that. She just we she's showing up. Whatever, but I know, but it's not a you know. Song. Everybody about you to hop guru. in. Uh-oh. You know, we need back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. She about, to drop the, she about to drop the knowledge. Right? <laughs> yeah. Niggas got their notepads ready. I'm just here to chime in instead of getting my points in the comment section because mm-hmm. I'll be there for my points. Okay? Did you know there was a point system? Is it? Mm-hmm. And we even get We even get notifications and updates based on, like, who is like in the leader bracket, like top three mm-hmm. of what? I didn't know that people get points for like being on our lives and commenting and shit. No fucking way. Who's top three? She top three. Uh, for I sure. forgot. You guys sent it to me, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Every week is you got to be in the top then. Huh? <laughs> you, top. Yeah, you up there? <laughs> she said, I ain't trying to toot my own horn. <laughs> I'm not much saying, appreciate but it. number one. <laughs> I remember when we first had got started out, I was <laughs> noticing her comments. <laughs> For her, I gotta. Oh, there's somebody else yeah, in a hot seat. Point. Who was who was Who's top? Up? Who's at the top? I gotta see. They they tell me every like Monday, but I didn't like. Dang, look not not the competition. That's crazy, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she even knows. Yeah. Y'all want to talk about this Jada shit or what? Oh, there's, <laughs> hey, there's no hot takes on. Off on. We don't got no hot takes. People actually, people been cool. They was cool on the. Uh, really been chilling. Yeah. That's solid. Especially Lately. on the fight, on the fight, uh, jumping because they the see we're gonna, we gonna stand on business. I thought, I thought they was actually gonna mm-hmm. come for y'all for that mm-hmm. one. I was like, this one oh, might be heavy. Oh, I don't hell know. no, that's niggas better agree on uh, my life. If it's a nigga yeah. that disagree, I got that's I why got she questions. ain't gonna fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah. And, and let a let a let a woman see her nigga disagreeing on a comment mm-hmm. section. She be like, she better jump in. You gonna let me get jumped? <laughs> she she better jump in. <laughs> I noticed more so it was the the women who was saying like it's hard for them to okay. not jump in. That makes sense. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I'm not even like I would never even debate with a woman who says like. Mm, I don't know if I could just let that happen. Everybody hit me up on that and was saying the same thing. I, I couldn't just watch that happen. Mm-hmm. And, my, and my DMs was full of it, yeah. full of women, just like, Mm-mm. yeah, I couldn't. I get it, but you gonna make it worse for real for mm-hmm. me, especially. You gonna make it worse. I know you think you're helping, but you are gonna make it so much worse. Yeah. Like I'm already tripping. Mm-hmm. If I see a nigga hit you, Jesus Christ, and he knocking you. That's the word. We're dragging you and shit. Oh like, now what I'm going to do, I got, I, I'm fighting two niggas. Yeah. And I, I'm watching a nigga beat your ass <laughs> over here. <laughs> like, I'm going to look even worse. That would be cold-blooded. Especially, like, where does she get put to, put to sleep? That's why, no, it's going to happen. Like she get put to sleep? Happen. That nigga going to knock her out, dog. Yeah, he going to knock her out, bro. And now what and you got to do? Yeah. You got to wake her up. You have to stop everything you're doing. To Swinging, go. shaking. And now niggas beating your ass. You laying on top of her, trying to hold her head. You Now y'all both sleep. Oh, man. It's a fucking nap session. Not cuddling. Cuddling in the street. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Next to the fucking yeah. manhole. Yeah. It's bad. It's, it's this romantic. <laughs> <laughs> they got slept together. I mean... They went out. Hey, Bonnie and Clyde yeah. went out. <laughs> at least, at least y'all went out together, looking ass. Man, hell no. Nah. He said Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> That's crazy, but yeah, we'll jump on. Um. Ball head bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, I hate her for Will, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and I used man. to. I'm telling you, I told y'all, I was, I was super def- in her, in her defense, in their defense, like their relationship, like man, yeah. Y'all need mind y'all business, like stay out they shit. If they know what's going on and they good, like y'all judgment don't mean shit. Judge they ass. She going through her midlife or something. For her to be <laughs> still talking about Tupac, nigga. Judge they ass. Still talking about Tupac. Judge they ass. I forgot about that, but that was a little extra too. Judge they ass. Oh, that's like the main thing, ain't it? Yeah, she but she just she just came out Tupac. talking to um to uh what was it Fat Joe? Wait, talking to him? Mm-hmm. Told uh told him that her and Pac never been together. No, they never have. No, they were never, never together, never ever, a thing. Never been a couple, never been a thing, an item of any kind. He just ran game on her. He just, just talking. 
and had her falling. Yeah. Oh, so she was she was just in love. That's it. Kind of. That's she it. She didn't even say she was in love. She just oh. said that that was her friend. Oh. What's the threshold in y'all opinion? Like, if your friend girl kind of crazy, like you, you you were saying before we had went live, like you 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 was saying stay out their business and shit. Now you kind of like. You know, fuck her. Like, when, much, when, when, when is the threshold where you finally gonna tell the homie like, she, she a little crazy. Like, you should stop fucking her. Yeah, right now, <laughs> right fucking now. Like, no, honestly, start- I'm, I'm saying with, with they shit. When I, I jumped off the, uh, like, protect them wagon, was, um, when she came out and said that she didn't need him to do that. Yeah, in an interview with somebody, mm-hmm. right? She was saying like, I don't need, I didn't need him to do that. I can protect myself. That's wild. Listen, why would you? Even if you feel like that, that's wild. No way in hell you get you get that out in the public. You can tell him that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And y'all y'all personal space. Tell him like, I ain't need you to do that. Yeah. But this nigga just his career just went to shit because he did that for you. He didn't do that for him. Yeah. And you go get on somebody fucking <clears throat> radio show and say that you didn't need him to do that or he didn't have to do that. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. You're doing too much. Shut the fuck up. We haven't even heard from him. And we're we not going to. Unless he, it's on her fucking stupid ass table. <laughs> the, uh, it's interesting because, and this is, I feel like the, it just reminded me of this, but I had saw this TikTok of this comedian who does like a lot of crowd work. And there was one where there was this Filipino guy dating this mixed girl. Uh, she, she, she was a little darker, so she didn't really look mixed, but she was there with her mom. And then he ended up like figuring out like the white girl was his mom and shit. And, the, and he had asked her like, Hey, what'd you think when she had brought like a Filipino dude home? And she just outright said, eh, like, I wish she would have like dated like a black guy or something like in front of everybody at the co- comedian, the, Damn. uh, the comedy show. Mm-hmm. And, uh, it just like shit like that. Right. Where like Jada's like just coming out now saying, Oh, you know, I don't know why he did that. It's just crazy to me when people say that in front of like a lot of people. It's too much. And put it Shut out the there. Yeah. Like yeah. like dude was like so felt so awkward there. Like this is your girl's mom saying like she wished she didn't bring you home type shit. It's just kind of crazy. And what if that's the first time you hear it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> in front of the masses. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's crazy. Bro. Like you can opt out of the question, my nigga. Like you don't, you're not obligated to answer that fucking question. Why would you do that? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's why I don't know if she was trying to get like cool points, like trying to be funny at the comedy show or something. But everyone in the comments on TikTok was like, "That was like, no." She was liquor down, probably. She yeah. was probably in that motherfucker drinking and got th- that liquid courage. I'm fucking that monkey oil man. boy done got to it. Shut your ass up! I tell people that just shut up. Please, you don't have to say anything. Like, you don't even have to clear up a story for the public. That's that's the truth. Like, if people think something or people assume something, let them stand mm-hmm. on it. Like, what the fuck? You're a celebrity. It's not like they know the ins and outs of your shit. Yeah. You didn't have to go do no tell all. You didn't have to write a book about it. You didn't have to do interviews about it and put people in your shit. And you're making life worse for the nigga you're supposed to love. Like your life is not getting harder. Yeah. Wills is still getting harder. Do you think it, it has anything to do with that? Like, you know how like all of a sudden two rappers are fighting and you find out, oh, Joe Budden got an album on the way. Mm. Do you think like that had anything to do with it? Where like she's trying to promote her book and Yes. Yeah. Um, yes, a hundred percent. That's very a lot of people don't think like that, bro. Yeah. I rock with that. Yeah, because a lot of people just like, oh, you being messy, being messy. No, they are being strategic with everything they do. Mm-hmm. Because as consumers, we like bullshit. We are their consumers. They at the front row, we're the pawns to they shit. Huh? They don't need the money though. It's like what do you make No, you have to stay relevant. You gotta get the money. You have to promote. You have to you have Yeah, because I don't think I don't think people way. would have known her she has a book out. Like, I, I know I wouldn't have known she's really like releasing a book. Do you want to go get the book? No, but it still like puts it on the the promotion. Like I'm not gonna go buy Joe Budden's album either. Yeah. You know, but like it's yeah. he he beefing with Drake, and all of a sudden you hear, oh shit, Joe Budden got an album on. I would I would agree with y'all. She wasn't already doing the shit. Yeah, like everything, nothing she's doing is new to her, and, and even like the past couple years. So if this was like some like August Alcina, for example. That nigga had an album coming out mm-hmm. when he blew the like when he blew the top off that shit. <laughs> he literally had an album coming out. I said, I'm snitching for this album. For sure. And nobody was nigga. Nobody's checking for August. Yeah. When the fucking last time he put out any music? Then so, he just said he was gay. He just came out saying some shit. He was gay. Oh, he, did he? Yes. He ain't really gay though. He didn't say. That he didn't say he was gay though. Did he? Yeah, just he like that's his man. He made like an insinuation. 
That was yeah, his boyfriend. Yeah. He kept saying that was his boyfriend. No, some people said it was his cousin. Yeah, they said oh, it was no, like his cousin. They was playing brother. it, but he said it was his man. I and mean, boyfriend. Some shit he like said, that. On oh, my I mama, thought he, he said, did. I thought he said, like, on oh, my life, I seen that shit. I found a new love or I'm in love. Yeah, or something yeah, like yeah and like hugged the nigga. He didn't go. even kiss the nigga. He hugged him. So the keeper is, you know. That, I think that's what the thing. He wanted it to trend. He gave us that ambiguous ass. Yeah. So people could think and then just left it at what it was. Cool. And I'm cool with him doing that. He did that because y'all can man. assume what y'all want, and that, and even if it is strategic, the nigga didn't go in and elaborate. Mm -hmm. Ain't been no tell yeah. all where he's like, "Yeah, that's my man." Mm -hmm. You feel me? Why? Because the like that allure of like, "What's up with him?" Perception. is gonna keep him fucking relevant. Mm -hmm. It now you like you know now you want to hear him on radio shows to talk about the bullshit, <laughs> and in talking about the bullshit, he gonna plug the album. He got a little series on YouTube too. August. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that. After his whole little. Hiatus and he come back out talking about his uh his little medical situation and all mm. that. Try to try to Dang, for real. I ain't know none of that. I, I, I tip, bro. I'm telling you what. I I typically stay the fuck out of celebrity gossip. I swear to God. The only reason that I know so much about this Jada shit is because it's everywhere. Everywhere. That's yeah. it. Like, and that's literally the only time I ever know about any celebrity anything is like when it's always in my face. Mm -hmm. When everybody's sharing it and talk about it, I'm like, what the hell y'all talking about? Mm -hmm. Now let me check it out. But like, I'm not doing research. When Will smacked her, or, or smacked her, <laughs> smacked her, smacked Chris, slapped the back of that neck and ass head. Life. Stupid. Yo, when he when he smacked him, there wasn't his movie coming out that uh, Emancipation that was coming out. And he just got done with the movie of um, the Serena Williams they, one. They pulled Richard, they, Richard they, King. They pulled so well, that's why he was at the Emmys. Yeah, for he was about to get yeah. an Oscar they, they for pulled, that one. They pulled so many of that movie. Emancipation movie came out after that slap. I don't think he was doing it for the movie though. I will, nigga. Why nah, do we, but don't every, have to? Yeah. I just feel like they dragged that. No, nah, but out. I do feel like I do feel like the timing of everything of her with doing this, and she got a book coming. Like that's why she did the interview to like promote her book, and then all of a sudden now it's like, why he do this? I, I don't know. It just feel. I can't stand that bitch. I'm. I'm, tired I'm not of saying she don't have devious intentions, oh but I, I feel like she did it on purpose too. I'm sick of her ass, and dude. she really polishing that bitch. Boy, I'm talking like a bowl, like a bowling ball, really hard. Fucking naked hip. I can't stand. Nah, it, it's a little grown out now. I it's. I don't know if y'all saw the interview. It's a yeah, little grown she got out. The, she no, got I ain't seen it. Slim shady. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. It's blonde. Mm -hmm. She got the blonde. She looks like her son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> blonde bus cut. <laughs> <laughs> she got her son here too now. Okay, that's, that's, what, that's why she named him on. after her. Shit. Oh, I wonder man. what happened with that. Y'all think unconditional love is real? How she how she grew that out? Her uh, hair, uncle. Yeah. <laughs> Did she how she grow it out after the alopecia? Yeah. Like what happened? She got that cure, nigga. Or was it a toupee? That's the, <laughs> it could have been. And I some I mean alopecia varies. <laughs> a woman toupee. It come and go. A wu pay. Not it doesn't come and go, but it, it like, like where you lose it, it, you you lose it in certain areas mm -hmm. sometimes. So it could be like patchy. My bitch got a full head now though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she got that. She got that Tory Lane. She got yeah. She got that. She got that Tory Lane. She got them finger waves. That's what I'm saying. Cause like even cause like Tory if your hair is dead mm -hmm. and you try to dye that junk, it's gonna die even more. Like right. how she do it? She got that Bosley. She got money. Well, it could. Uh, I looked. How, it looked more gray to me, but it could be blonde. It wasn't no gray. It ain't no gray. That bitch blinded out to go with the scout. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. blend yeah. with that scout. Good, good blend. I don't know if it's real. I'll tell you that. <laughs> just got that. She, That's a nice toupee. She now. put that bitch on like a helmet. Yeah, that might be a wig. <laughs> Your bill on that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> that Steve Harvey shit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now, the Steve technology. Harvey. The technology is crazy now. You could go to a barber and they could really. Oh no, yeah. my homeboy do it. Yeah, out the garage. Yeah, like he'll give you a full piece. <laughs> <laughs> like I was gonna do that shit for my birthday last year just to be funny. <laughs> but he doing and see what like, it look like. Cute, yeah. cute doing full pieces. Like he'll give a nigga full like top fade. Nigga. Oh shit! Like I'm, he'll tell you like grow your shit out. He'll let you grow your shit out and he give you give you the top piece. Trim that motherfucker up and and fade it in. Look cool. That's straight up. Yeah, look cool. I'm, 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 I'm not even, not even I seen, the bullshit you. I like seen it, it, uh, Instagrams for like, sure. It's yeah, funny, it, but it looked like it's it looked real. My only thing is like first, how long it lasts, and second, like how, like you get a day or two out there. You can't get it wet. You can't, <laughs> no, you can't get it wet nothing. in the shower. Or you can't, nothing. Don't, you can't do shit. You can't get in the don't work out in that motherfucker. Don't, don't go yeah. dancing. That adhesive gonna give out. Go, go be cute and make sure you got a fan. That shit gonna slide right off the edge. Get you a Percy fan, little personal fan, and just be. 
Keep that scalp cool, nigga. I couldn't imagine hey. somebody wig sliding <laughs> as they talking. Like you just that see adhesive that game out, nigga. Like, you just see that video? Beards that dropping girl? and shit. Did you see that video of that girl when oh, she was on that man. talk show? <laughs> she oh, had that oh, wig on. My God. Oh yeah, yeah. She, she, that she knew. hit the back of that couch. <laughs> yeah, she knew. She, she was trying to reach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she kept talking. She was like, "No, man, it's done." How she ain't feel it it's though? Done. Like, Never, <laughs> there's no <laughs> way she ain't feel it sliding, my nigga. You know what made me cry? Just detached. <laughs> Come on, man. At, at first, she was so peaceful with it, but like as it went on, she uh -huh. said, "Nigga." <laughs> <laughs> hey, why she put that bitch back on, nigga? <laughs> Threw that oh, motherfucker dude. back on. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep that shit off now. This is episode. I can't even reach it. <laughs> I feel like I feel. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get that motherfucker. Hey, y'all crazy. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. Bro, I feel like that that having to do that though is like the 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 glued on hairstyle is so expensive though. I I think I would have to invest in my own adhesive and like if I felt it slipping, I gotta do I gotta like reapply hey, some shit. Do gorilla glue one yeah. time and that yeah. motherfucker beat up for the rest of your yeah, life. It what? never grow. You ain't never gotta worry about cutting it. Just get the taper, nigga. Constantly yeah. get a taper. That junk gonna be that like top of that shit gonna be there. Cementing, <laughs> Let it be. Gorilla glue leave that like, the, like extra like yeah. That's how you want to go out straight right now. But, <laughs> but if you're trying to do it like every two weeks, then, it don't move. Yeah, you you come back with the gorilla <laughs> glue, move. he gonna be upset. Yeah, hey, I can't. Nah, it's over. I can't do it for it you. Don't know. move. Yeah. So I got no WD forty on hand. She had to go to the doctor. Nigga. What was that? Like twenty mm. twenty. Oh yeah, yeah. It's so funny because like we grew up thinking that like wigs were for old people. Uh, on my yeah. right, wigs, wigs for old women. That's what we wigs. Grew up. Then yeah. we wigs, wigs, wigs for, for everybody, my... nigga. All the younger people. If you wigs. don't got one, bitch is looking at you weird. Yeah, yeah. like nigga, I don't want fucking. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucking mamma, nigga. I mean no wig. Where your shit at? <laughs> and these women don't be having no hair. I want y'all to know the bitches be wearing wigs. Oh, a yeah. lot of them don't be having nothing under there. Mm -hmm. Edges be gone. Edges grow. Top top thin is a motherfucker. Is that because it doesn't grow, or because they get it cut so they can just wear the wig? Oh, oh, yeah. Everything all that glue fucking glue. What you talking about? They glue that shit on the edges. Uh, they peel that shit off. The hot comb look like a wax. Mm. Everything fucking that shit. Yeah, Sometimes right it be the fight. I've been seeing so many. The girls. fight. Ooh. Yeah. Don't you have no individuals. Hole. Yeah. Them box braids. Like for the ponytails, boy. Get it snatched right it's out. Mm -hmm. Get your shit together. What well, What did you say earlier? Was the other topic? You said? Unconditional love. Y'all think that shit like y'all think unconditional love is like a real thing? Can we ask the lady first before we give our our men opinion? I really want to hear yours. Yes. Go ahead. You think that it. you could just like full out just love somebody unconditionally, like whatever they do, you just love them. Yes. Mm, that's so tough. I don't. I mean, believe, I don't believe that to be true. Sometimes you might be a little stupid while you're doing it. You have to be if it's unconditional, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I mean, you know. You might have a situation where they don't do nothing like to make you stupid for loving them, but I guess in your case, then what you're saying is they no matter what they do. That's because that's what I think unconditional means, right? If you love somebody unconditionally, it does not matter. It might be something like he lost a job or he not working. You're not stupid for staying with him, and that goes back to that conversation about um, yeah, the acrimony. Acrimony, yeah. But it's like. If he dogging you, yeah. you still love him. You you can love somebody and not be with them. You cannot accept them treating you a certain way or treating you bad, but still love them. What's unconditional about that? Yeah, there's a boundary. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. What are the conditions of love? For a life. Well, I, I don't think that you can. I, I couldn't answer that. Right. Because yeah, I guess that's my question. In my opinion, I feel like more so all love is damn near unconditional. It's kind of like there's really no preface for like. What makes you feel like that way about somebody? If that's the case, you love everybody. Uh, there is love forms of love with every sort of relationship that I go into. But what, what you're saying though, you love everybody then. Like if there's no, yeah, either love or hate. Yeah. So uh, to me, <clears throat> to say unconditional, right? This unconditional means no matter what, because opposite of that is conditional. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So you fall in love with somebody based on shit that they're doing, or who they are those are the conditions that made you fall in love, okay. right? So now if we say unconditional, this means that it does not matter what they do. Yeah. You just love them. So in the Where case of happening? like, like so for, the, for that instance, like the condition of you first initially becoming attracted to somebody, I still feel like that's still like a form of love in a sense. Like you still are 
in love with their appearance or mm. something. So like in that sense, if they then gained a hundred pounds after the 10 years of y'all being together, whatever, like, is it still, is it considered unconditional now? Cause you're, you're not necessarily in love with the, what you initially fell in love with. If you stand with them and you don't give a fuck, then that's, you don't, that's unconditional in that aspect. Yeah. Like, right. The condition is you fell in love with, I'm going to say no then. I'm going to say no. I can't. I, I don't believe. I just don't think it, I can't be the one. Like if I just watch you, let yourself go, and all that shit, and we, I'm like, we need to bounce back. At least I'm being honest with you. Let's do this, and you don't give a fuck. You don't love me no more because what I'm saying. Ain't. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I. But that's what I was gonna say. No, I don't think. I don't think you love me no more. So now I have got to. Fat, nigga. You let. I'm saying <laughs> we. Not, you be having some cold. God damn, <laughs> bro. Some cold. Fucking plot twist, nigga. <laughs> like, <"Damn>, shit. <laughs> oh my god. To. Like, like no I was like, to I'm like, okay, okay, nigga. <laughs> so, I had to, man, because I, I just got put in a dark place with them. Like, oh shit. That I love her. No, like she got pregnant or something. I'm still gonna be. I want to help lead you back into. Your best ability, however best you can be, you know what I mean, and that's something you just don't want to fuck with. Am I the one that's got to sit down to be with your big ass? <laughs> but no. But do you still love her? Do I'm gonna love you from you a distance, 100. percent I'm gonna love you. I just won't be with you yeah, because see, that, there's no respect in the household no more at that point. Oh, that, to me. Well, that's what I was gonna say. The conditions <laughs> more lost, so. You lost respect from me. Yo. No, the conditions more so is like respect <laughs> and those sort of hey, dynamics, right? Yeah. yeah, because yeah, yeah. Not, and that's more so what I was saying too. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, um, what? just like respect, I, th I feel like a dynamic of respect is like significantly the most important thing Mando. in any sort of Mando. friendship, relationship, anything. Agree. And so I feel like the conditions of respect now, however you perceive that you're being respected, that person's respecting themselves, can fluctuate. But that's why it's like other things as far as like, uh, so f in that instance, like this person puts on weight. Mm -hmm. Some per Somebody can perceive that as, hey, you're not respecting me because you're not respecting yourself. And I'm trying to make, you know, I'm trying to keep my health intact and all these certain things. Mm -hmm. And you're not taking it as serious as me. We had lost respect. Okay, boom, it's off. Or it could be you go through all the things in which this person did respect you. So you're not really tripping off of their physical. Print. It could go any sort of way, but it fluctuates. But I, I think I, to, to just uh, say it's love is tougher. I feel like respect and things like that are what make it like where you can really analyze if it's somebody that you want to fuck with or not. Have you lived in a household with somebody and y'all both just not on the same accord? Like, I want to be the one that's working out. I want to eat healthy, but this motherfucker don't want to mm -hmm. adapt to that type of lifestyle. When I'm I'm telling you why we should be doing this, I'm trying to help us benefit, and we're going to have a long-living relationship. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a better lifestyle. But you don't want to conform to that. It's so hard to be the only one in there eating healthy, having healthy food and all that. It's like, fuck, yeah, you get in the way. Though. Yeah. What you, know you mean? Saying? It's not a group decision. <clears throat> Well, my woman, it has to be a group decision. They definitely don't. Because keep our household on the same accord. I don't want you sitting there smashing well, not, every bag of fucking chips. But not with weight, though. Like, I don't think, like, you can say you need to be on the same accord with weight. Like, if if she, like, I know some people who, they'll be heavy on the gym. Mm -hmm. And she not really like that. Mm -hmm. But that's just, that's just not what she on. But they still, they, they not, like, clashing because of it. Like she's not dragging him to yeah. eat like unhealthy. She's not you saying I mean? you got to eat the way I eat, and you, you know, you got to gain weight because I gain weight. But like we in here together. But like. wouldn't he fucking look elsewhere else? No. Like, would this imagine he found a female he can be a power couple with that really want to go to the extra mile with him and be on the same accord? Key, what the hell do being fit have to do with being a power couple? Not fit. I was just that was just my like example I gave you. It's a like mindedness. Like, yeah. She yeah. Got perfect. Us just yeah. anything. Mm -hmm. Just like. I want to go here with life. Yeah. Do you want to go here too with life? It's not just the health shit. It's about like everything, money, um, just jobs or, right, or building the future. Y'all literally do not have to be on one accord on any and everything for y'all to work. True. That, that's why I said it. Because you, yeah, your yeah, example no. was fitness. So I'm saying like, if y'all on one accord on everything else, y'all finances are solid. Y'all parenting skills are everything. The way, you know, that type of shit. And you want to work out and eat healthy and she don't, that don't mean y'all not on one accord. That sounds like a it's a it's it, but that's that's it though that's and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that that's that is not a separation for y'all two to, you know, start dividing because you want to eat healthy and she don't want to do it with you. That shouldn't. That shouldn't the amount of love you have. No, no, person. not the amount of love. Just being with that person. That's that's going to be the condition I will end up wanting to separate. Because you fit and she not. 
Not a, <laughs> <laughs> no, just the, the like mindedness. I, I feel like we, yeah, yeah, like mindedness. I feel like we brought heads. Though. So yeah, there if, will if always his, argument. Yeah, there will if, always be an argument in the crib. If his ideology of relationship or like a partnership in the world, he's gonna go with, through life with somebody. Is he feels like it's someone who should think how he think? How that's on all levels. That's no, no, tough. Level, you gotta have your own perspective. Yeah, I understand that. Hundred percent, our own perspective. But there, you gotta understand, we really will clash heads so much to the point I'm gonna get burnt out because we always have. These clashing different opinions, clashing. Okay, and I'm 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 I'm, I'm hammering. I know I'm hammering this motherfucker hard, but like, where where would a clash come from? What we are t the the example you made, the word you know, yeah, like the eating healthy versus her eating whatever. Where would why do you feel like y'all would clash in that regard? Because some people, you know, some people are gonna be like, oh, you just always trying to be healthy, or you just it's gonna be like little jealousy type things. You are gonna see me growing, and then you are gonna kind of. Well, the jealousy hope. pops up in that shit. I would hope not, man. It, I know, that's, but I've seen it. I've seen it. But I've even like, jealousy. yeah, no, I'm not saying it's impossible, but like that's insane, bro. To be <laughs> jealous of like your partner, <laughs> yo, yo, you jealous of your partner I've getting healthier? It's like, yes, it's like, that's it's bad. Like, that's then something fucked up anyway. That's what I'm let's let's get man. like before the it's before the eating healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something so like, way say, fucked up. Say y'all both was like unhealthy, quote unquote, unhealthy. Y'all ate whatever. Y'all never like watched what y'all ate, and then. One of y'all decides to have a Eureka moment and say, I want to get healthy again, so I don't want to eat that no more. So the what things that y'all used to share, times that y'all used to share over that burger or over them chips or over that soda or over whatever, and now you like, I don't eat that no more. I don't want to do that no more. It's like, dang, you, like, you switched up. Mm -hmm. And so if you continue on that path towards that change of lifestyle and they're not coming with you, then it's like, they get left behind, and they don't even have to just be that specific. That one specific. Yeah. That was just an example, y'all. Just it an could example. Be anything. Yeah, but Reading, for the sake of the conversation, not doing I have to drugs use the no example. more, not drinking. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm okay, so like drinking, not smoking yeah. no more. I want right. to stop smoking weed. Or I want to stop drinking or some shit. Now my partner want to keep doing that. I'm gonna start looking like, damn, this how you look drunk all the fucking time. But because gonna, now you know that's drunk. crazy. But, see, nigga, but that, that's uh, earlier yeah. I said that's a personal decision. <clears throat> that's and so I'm now saying. using other examples, I'm still standing on, mm -hmm. yeah. nigga. You cannot drag a person to do what you want to do with you. If you want to stop smoking and your partner still want to chief how they chief, if they are fine doing that, mm -hmm. you can't judge them and they can't judge you. Like, but I'm saying, y'all started together. Some people will end up eventually yeah. separating. But like, I come into it, I, I fuck with a lot of females who. Smoke. I don't smoke. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. At least I knew you like this from the jump. So yeah. we ain't go clash on that. That's who you are. I rock with that. But if we both came in smoking, I want to stop smoking. People going to start looking at one another different. That's how you start, how you finish. You know what I'm saying? Little innuendos. Little innuendos right there. That's going to sit there. What's the point of being in a partnership if y'all not making those decisions together, though? I agree. What you don't have to make decisions together because you're still... What? I, yeah. What's, what's your answer are, to that? There are people... This the... I think no, no, no. I, I'm not asking specific. I no, just want to know. This, is, this is something that stresses me out, not because of y'all saying it, but in general. Yeah, where y'all, where people really do feel like once you are an item with somebody, that y'all have to do so much joint shit. You really don't. Y'all can be two individuals, complete individuals, mm -hmm. not have anything. You like books. She likes movies. Mm -hmm. She don't fucking read. You like video games. She likes the gym. You smoke weed. She does not. You can do that successfully because y'all are individuals together yeah, y'all do I not think, have to do everything i together. think those are different things because like in order to be healthy those are like things in which you do to survive so like we having to differ on everything we eating at night all those certain things and that 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 plays that we builds up after a while that's a, I, think that's that's yeah. decision. I think that's fine as a, as a yeah. unit you start making things happen for each other so mm -hmm. if you only eating spinach and Seafood, whatever. like you a pescatarian then type you're shit. You gonna mm -hmm. make his stuff, and then your kids, and you gonna make whatever else, and you have to let that happen for the family. Like you can't. But what if what if they want their kid? What if the the man in that situation or the woman wants their kid to be pescatarian as well? That's something that they gotta discuss. Yeah. But that's why I'm saying. That I just think it becomes. I just think it becomes a lot. Like his, to his point, I think it just can build up, and I see what he's talking about in that regard. Like I, if that's the case, then we gonna we we gotta do this with kids too. Then as far as kids what? do not eat everything. Uh -huh. My children literally have things they do not want. So if she cooked this for dinner, she has to make something different for the kids. There's no different in a relationship. There's no divide. There's no separate. And that's what I'm saying. People have this false ass idea that being with somebody is doing all these things together all the time. You can be two complete individuals together. 
Y'all yeah. don't have to hand in hand with everything, even life goals. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, I, I don't think I'm not saying right. my bad. Key. I'm, no, not, I'm just not saying it in the sense of everything either, bro. Yeah. I think it's more so. Just I feel like health is a very important aspect of being a human being, mm -hmm. and if if the two people are divided on that, it's gonna be hard through all the big decisions and all the big experiences that you're gonna go through for it to to constantly be like deferred. What? Like I said, like having kids, like if someone wants to go vegan okay. and, and the other person still wants to eat hamburgers and shit, and then y'all have a kid together, like what, how are we going to decide? Do we want the kid to be vegan? Do we want... Some people do that's choose after they kids. That's, a, that's, a, that's an easy ass movie. decision to, to, to make though. Not to everybody. Why not? It's just one I think to you. I think it, to you it could be, but I'm saying in a partnership, it could potentially defer because people could really stand on... Like people go vegan because they don't like what people, what, how the animals are slaughtered. They don't believe it's healthy, all this certain sort of things. So if their partner still wants to eat burgers and stuff, and then the, the human being that you created is still allowed to eat those things, where in the case you went vegan, you that the reason you went vegan is because you you are anti all that shit. That's it tough. can it can build up. Have but you ever seen so many different people, people. completely different <clears throat> religions marry each other? Yeah. How do you how do you choose which wedding you have? How do you choose which religion you rock with? I, I think it you depends think that's on hard, the partnership. You think that's harder to do than some fucking food? It's easy. This I is, think this all that happen. stuff. Is, I think all that stuff is harder, and it depends on. That's more so. What I'm saying, if you're not willing to make those sort of tough decisions as a partnership, you're not ready to be a partner. I, and to his point, like if he's not willing to go through those trials and tribulations of, yo, I want to be healthy. This person want to be healthy. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing that he's not willing to be a partner. You with only that person. fuck with somebody for what they do. Then you're not fucking with the person for who they are, because if they can make a decision to change something and you can't fuck with it, then you're not really fucking with them anyway. Everything that you're doing is conditional. Even liking them or fucking with them is conditional. And that's why I said I don't believe in unconditional. Right. And I said that. That's and why it, I, what I said. Cool. I think I said. But that's, that's what, what what we talking about. So is, who believes in, in unconditional here? Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. So we all in the I, same accord. I, 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 I do with like kids and shit. Meaning. Hey. Like a, a kid, like I, I feel like there's a lot of unconditional things where, hey, we were saying it before the podcast. Hey, oh, you saying you can love kids? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like they call you a bitch. Absolutely. And you, you'll let nobody call you that, uh, you know, and still have that respect for him. But hey, this is my kid. Let That's me teach a him a good lesson. That's example. I'm, yeah. I, that, I, and somebody said Thank that in the you. comments though early. They, yeah. said, they said only with children. And I, I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think we were talking about romantic partners, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. And that's why I just that didn't sense. even, I didn't even elaborate on her that when she sense. made the comment, yeah. but because that's an easy call. You are gonna love your kids regardless. You don't have to like them. Yeah, you don't have to like. You gonna love them regardless. But I don't. It, I, I've had. I have problems with my kids where I don't <laughs> fuck with them. And you know that. But I love them regardless. Mm -hmm. My grandma always. Told I've me kicked my daughter and out of my like house, you and can I do love that her with, a, with a, a person too, like uh, in a romantic way. Same thing. Get rid of them and still love them, romantically. Yes. Oh, that's tough. Love I don't know how the hell you do See, that. There you go. That's how we got her here. Is love just romance, though? Huh? Love you long time. Because I don't think love is just romance, though. I, I, I think not. you meant, yeah. Like, I, I I see what you're saying with that. Because, yeah, you can break up with somebody and it'd be like, hey, we're not right for each other because we can't respect still each other on these them. partnerships. Yeah. But I still have love for you. Like, you I hope you're happy. In love? Yeah. It's tough to say what's, like, the the the... One through a hundred, how much you love somebody, and then it becomes in love with somebody. Like I, I, I just view it all on the spectrum of love. Okay, that I, I understand that to a sense because there is like I've seen people who have been in relationships for a long time, they break up, but they still living together, and there's still like a love there. Mm -hmm. Like they, it's like oh, I still care for her because you know she's the mother of my child. I still got love for her. You know that that's never gonna go away. So I see that. I can see what you mean in that sense. And I know motherfuckers. Conditions. Yeah. 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 See, you that's why this that. motherfucker's called unbiased opinions. But um <laughs> I don't know. Like with the with the stuff you guys were talking about earlier, it's just so hard for me to grasp that because I just see the I just see a lack of like Empathy, love. What well, I think what kind Compassion. of where my mind is is it seems like if you want somebody to bend to what you're doing, like say if you're like a vegan. And you just become vegan. And then all of a sudden you're like, I want you to be on the same page because, you know, this is my lifestyle. This, this, did it. I feel like, and almost, it, for one, it looks like a lack of self control, but it also seems like you need somebody to be on the same page as you to continue doing what you're doing. And I feel like just do what you do and let them do what they do. I was going to say, lead by example. I'm always going to lead by example with it. But it's like I was saying, some jealousy shit. Like if you start. If she starts seeing her body change or he starts seeing her body change 
And they be like, oh, you niggas, jeal jealousy really kicks in when people's body starts to change. That's a person, but like, it does, this, I feel though. like this but is I a said given. that's what kick yeah. in. Like, this, I said, that's this is a given, in. though, my nigga. If, if I choose to start hitting the gym and you mm -hmm. choose not to, it is a 100% given that my body's gonna change. Mm -hmm. If you are so jealous of my body changing, bring your goofy ass on. <laughs> Thank you. Or shut the that's fuck what up. It, that's what it is. But they but start saying slick shit. That's a little back. See, that, in the, I think in that's, that's when we start variable in the conversation, right, bro. Yeah. Like, past, mm -hmm. and that's always my thing, like, past what we talking about. Then you start variable. It's so many things that can happen after you make yeah, that decision. Like yeah. so, the jealousy or the envy or whatever the fuck that can be anything. But I just think it's nuts to think that hey, I'm gonna start getting in shape. If you ain't gonna get in shape with me, I don't know if we can keep doing this. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not saying. I know like, you're not saying okay. that. <laughs> but saying you, like we that. talk about anything though. Okay, like, I dig what you're like saying. Like you said, yeah. you're gonna lead by example. But you, uh -huh. you, you did say like even if we're not just talking about the weight thing, any decision that you make. If you stop smoking weed, and they keep smoking weed, you gonna look at them like. But that's Damn, what's fucked up. you just be high all the time? But that's yeah, nigga, stop, though. I'm saying, are you start is how you should finish. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And I don't believe that. Because For real? Because ev everybody has... If you're an in relationships? That shit's yes, tough. Yes, anything. That you, tough. Have the, you have the right to change your mind mm -hmm. about any fucking thing. If you marry a person as a as a party animal or whatever and they want to party forever fine if a motherfucker get tired of it fine you cannot judge a mother and be like man well you met me partying cool keep partying i'm not telling you not to party i'm just telling you i don't want to well you know so what? like to your point now that shit that we had where we was bonding going out now we got to find something yeah. else yeah we don't have to lose but a that's thing. why it's all built on that respect i'm talking about where if you have that respect with with that person these changes you could you could work through and stuff but if someone's yeah. feeling like they're not respected where they're making a change and they really want their partner to do it with them too it's gonna be a disconnect and i'm not saying hey uh yeah you this person like can't be fat or something like well, that well i i think yeah, with you respect, think that has something to do with respect yeah i yeah. think wow huh yeah, I think if you making a decision as as like a life change, and the person that you decided to go through life with isn't willing to make that change too, that there is yeah, that a person may I feel like they're not respected that's, on that's that on that change. That is insane. This, hold on, I think this. I think that unless the change needs to happen for the betterment of that person, you cannot require it. So, like, say you're three hundred pounds and you need to stop eating crazy. And so me, I might not be 300 pounds, but I need to stop being crazy too. So now I'm going to stop being crazy. You're going to stop being crazy. But you're like, no, nah, I don't want to stop being crazy. It's like, I'm not about to watch you die. I'm not about to watch you kill yourself. Mm -hmm. right. So now it's like, that is where the respect type com comes in because it's like, you don't want to stay alive long so that we can be together so that we can have a good mm -hmm. life. That's where that respect factor come in. But if we both just, Decide if I just decide one day I want to do something and you don't want to do it, I can't look at you and say you're wrong. You don't respect me. You don't respect me because you yeah, don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think but that's why I'm, what say, I'm said, saying though. it more on the, the spectrum that you brought it up in the first case. That's what I'm saying. Where if it's getting to a point where you fully are feeling like yo, I'm going vegan or I, I, I have to do a full lifestyle change and this person's not willing to meet you there, that is going to cause a disconnect, bro. It is. You you that's fine. A disconnect is cool. It, yeah. do I don't mind that. But respect. Yeah. Because like, I can support you, but that don't mean I got to stop eating meat. Yeah, yeah. But why we got to wait till the doctor tell you you about to fucking die tomorrow if you don't do it, for you want to change your life? But why I could, when I've been that. telling you the it whole time, though. That. It might not be that. But You're that's when niggas wait to drive. She started gaining weight. So she obviously was at a side that you uh, was okay with. And then whatever the reason why she gained the weight. So I was in some fucked up relationships. I think, you, I, think that's, nigga, I think that's I think that's love Let's just though. Admit it. Like I'm if you're saying that nigga. I don't want to watch you kill yourself. Yo. Like that's out of love. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You're actually saying like I don't want to see you hurt yourself like I care about you. There's plenty of ways you can love somebody yeah. that way too. But though. isn't all aren't typically those changes de derived from that feeling though? I don't think everyone has to be that. Like oh. like for example, if I'm just going to the gym and I'm just like I want you to come to the gym with me. Like I don't think. Yeah, it's but like, I'm not saying it. I'm, I'm not saying water in the gym with me though. I want to work up on my goddamn self. <laughs> but I'm, I can't I'm, stand that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want at the gym. I, <laughs> I do not want to work out with her ass. No, I mean that got to go both ways though. Like if you want to meet, you know, make the lifestyle change too, you got to be open to, you know, working with her on that and yeah, shit too. I think, but, I think oh, understanding man. comes with a lot of this as well because I feel like you have to have an understanding that. If you're making a change, the person that you're with might not make that change with you, uh -huh. no matter what type of change you're making, and vice versa. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like she, the other person would need to understand that, hey, this person is changing. Do I, you know, want to change with them or do I not? I got to understand that they're changing. They might want me to do the same things. But, you know, there has to be some type of understanding on both parts. I don't have some falling yeah, I mean, outs where yeah. I did. My bad, go ahead. No, yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. I, I don't have some falling out with people because we both were doing something at once. And then I was like, I don't see it. I don't, I don't see nothing good coming from this no more. So I want to fall off on this. If I'm saying it's not going to be good, I mean, because it's my type of good is like for real, like I, detrimental mm-hmm. to a nigga life. So I want to make sure I don't want to do this no more. But that person wants to continue on that road. What am I supposed to do at that point? Leave them where they are, man. Yeah. You growing. Yeah. Yeah, you, you growing, so keep and I growing. love them. I just gotta, I gotta let you go, grow away from them. And yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't believe in unconditional. I mean, sometimes you I do have to grow away I still from love people. that person. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, you gotta separate to elevate for sure. Yeah, and I think you'll see. You can. I think it goes with what he was saying with like a disconnect. You can see a disconnect happening when two people are going separate ways. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you just gotta. All right, I need to part ways, but I don't think I would like force somebody to do something that I'm doing. For any type of way like especially because sometimes i could flush away from things i could be on something like for two years heavy and then all of a sudden i made a quick change and now you yeah, know that, yeah. like for example i just started getting on juicing again i haven't been juicing for like years mm. but i was on it heavy for like years mm-hmm. got off of it for like what like three years and now i'm back on it so now it's like you know now would i be like <clears throat> hey <laughs> I'm juicing again, you know. Coming, I gave the wrong like, <laughs> example. We've been on this it's topic not, because I'm fucked up on example. It's not a bad yeah, example. It's not, I didn't, it's, 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 it's not a bad example. Okay, cause, cause, it, and I know we we I said it earlier, like we hammering at home, mm-hmm. but it's we just <laughs> using the example. Yeah, and, you know, we can use deep. any example. Yeah, yeah. I got you know, you. around yeah. it, we would do the same thing. Okay, you feel okay, me? If it was if it was any other topic that you chose to like use an example, we mm-hmm. could just get at that thing, and that's what we're doing. It ain't. Yeah, it's not just an example specifically. Yeah, and within the partnership, like. The only way you can be in a successful partnership is if y'all both go in with the mentality of compromise. Yes. And so mm, even so good. even if you are the one that wants to get healthy and you cool with her not being healthy, that's a compromise from you too. So I'm just saying it from the from the standpoint of if someone's not willing to compromise on what they feel like they should be respected on and stuff, it's not gonna work. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that's even hey, I feel like if I'm gonna be healthy, this person needs me. I'm just saying it from a from a point of view of if you're not willing to compromise, the relationship is just not going to work, in my opinion. Yeah. Unbiased opinion. So you're saying that if somebody's like stuck to their ways and they want this person to change. They shouldn't they be a partner. Want, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be in a relationship if yeah. that's what you're doing. You have to compromise. Everybody, and has just being in a, first of all, being in a partnership is not being with somebody who's like-minded. Ooh, I agree. That's why we want to be with that person because they don't. They're not like me. They're not fully like me. No, I, it, I like the differences it's, of people. It's, it's what we. I think is what we talking about. Jordan is, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but like you, like why would you be partners with somebody if y- y'all not on the same plane? You don't have to be on the same plane with a partner. I think with respect and compromise, you have to be for sure. Yes. Understanding each other's boundaries, understanding each other's goals and ambitions, sure. and like respecting those things and being able to compromise but on not doing whether. It with you don't have to do it with them. You don't have to even like the same shit. That's that's what I'm saying. Like we don't. I feel like you have to compromise on them though. Why? I feel like yours more like business. Y'all can yours do, y'all, sound y'all more can like do a business thing. Like, are you no, trying to build I'm a saying... business, conquer the world with her? No, I just mean as like? a. I just mean as a partner, bro. Like, uh-huh. yo, uh, I have a. I I have this opportunity that I have to move to New York with. Her family is here. She not willing to move off that. It's gonna be a disconnect, bro. Where or we could both be open to compromise within that. And she's like, okay, I want to be with this person, so I will compromise my way of living so I could stay with you and go over there, and we'll still. And then I'll. And, and then me and that dynamic, I'll have to find compromise so we can have the holidays over. You know, like it. It just has to be a dynamic of compromise. Period for a relationship is it to a work. Compromise or can she go do what the fuck she want to do for her and you do what you want to do for you and y'all still be partners no i don't think that could work you're insane it's, yeah no it's, i don't it's, it's fucking working i kid you not so it, you think it, you could go live in new york yes. and the girl could just live in las yes. vegas and y'all could live long yes. distance forever i don't think so yes i don't <laughs> you can you can I've, do it i've seen it everybody's really everybody I've don't have it, the to it. like want to sit in a motherfucking face or need to have a person near them i didn't this, say it needs to be that to that extent but for y'all to not be living life together y'all shouldn't be partners i agree with both of y'all Man, <laughs> I agree with both of you. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Snoop said not when it comes to traveling to different places. My bad, y'all. I haven't, I haven't been reading the comments, but Snoop, Snoop said. So I guess Snoop, you with uh, what Lennon said. Man, people have that. successful long distance relationships all the time. 
They can make it work for a couple though. for a couple months and shit. It's uh -huh. not gonna work forever, bro. Why? So you don't believe because because you, because well, how, how how you all are so different. Say that? Because y'all are so different on the plane of compromising for each other. That is not why. How is that not a compromise? <laughs> because people want to be. If you with somebody and y'all are partners, y'all supposed to be living life together. You're wrong. If you live in your full life in New York without this person and y'all just talking on Facetime, the shit is not That's gonna work, bro. That's how relationship is it's working. It's not gonna work, bro. For it's you. Not, I don't it's think it's going to work, period. period. Because you have a you have a mindset on what a relationship is supposed to be. That's the problem. No, I just, I mean, yeah, in a sense. He just yeah, went through something I, like that, though. He just went through something like that. No, but I'm just saying personal, in the sense that's of That's one fucking situation. Yeah, You're yeah. saying it, it can't work for anybody. And what I'm telling I'm you is. I'm saying if y'all can't compromise on, uh, okay, in the sense of making it work, and, and, and if both people want to compromise for the rest of their lives living 300 miles away, mm -hmm. it could potentially work. But I'm saying it's less likely for those things to work because it's harder to find compromise in things where if you're supposed to be partners together in life, y'all being away from each other, it's just, it's, I, I don't believe it could work, but I'll say it on the sense of uh, the, the probabilities of it working are, no, are lower. Say it don't work for you. And that's a different conversation to have. You cannot say that it will it don't work or the probability will be low. There are some people who actually don't want to be in somebody, even somebody that they're in a relationship with. They don't want to live with them. They don't want to see them all the time. It's couples yeah, who crazy. sleep in different beds. You think that I, I could I could tell true. you that if if I'm in a relationship with somebody and we live in the same household, ain't no way in hell we sleep in different beds. But I'm not gonna sit on no fucking mic and be like, nah, hell no, nah, it ain't gonna work. Ain't no way it can work. It's a lower probability if y'all sleep in a different different beds, it's not true. Different relationship It's different strokes For different folks So what I'm telling you is Fine For you You couldn't have A long distance thing Because at some point You're going to want to be there With the person But that is not what A partnership is about A partnership is about Doing life With a person Not physically With tangible A person Just with a person mm -hmm. I love you You love me I support you Nigga you could be in New York And I could be in LA And I can love you to death We'll fly and see each other When we want to <clears> see each other What if we got the money To do so then we have a relationship that's working. So you cannot say it's not going to work or it's a lower probability. That's not true because everybody don't view relationships the same way. You have an idea of what a relationship, a partnership should be. And I don't. I think that any style of relationship can work because I've seen all of them work. Yeah, but in all of those, they have to have compromise. Or what is the compromise? Someone that you willing to accept whatever they yeah, the want. compromise in that is the people, the two people are cool with it being long distance. That's a compromise. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't I don't see that as a compromise. If, okay if y'all both met in Las Vegas and this person has to move to New York. If one person doesn't want it and the other person does, then the person that doesn't want it has to accept it. That's a compromise. Right. But if you both want it, it's not a compromise. It, the, I feel I mean, like the person is, would move. It, if you yeah. want something, you, that's a compromise. That's what I'm saying. Like the person, if y'all both met in Las Vegas and, sh and this person doesn't want to move to New York because of your work, so y'all both compromise where, hey, we could do long distance. That's a compromise. Yeah, it's just another way of wording it, what you're saying. Yeah. That's what I, I see. I feel like compromise fitting in exactly what you're saying. And I, I don't either. That's making it work. That's yeah, exactly like what that's you gotta do to make it work. A, a compromise. That is a compromise, though, to make it no, work. Oh, I thought a compromise was like if you and a person don't see eye to eye on something. Like she yeah. said, I want a person here, and you want to go live in New York. The compromise is then. Well, you need to fly out here biweekly. Yeah. That's a compromise. When y'all both make a decision together for her to go live over there and you to stay here, that is not the compromise. That is a decision. The compromise is a fix. For whatever the fuck one of y'all is lacking or one of y'all want. Let let them argue one time. What's the first thing they're going to say? I compromised for this. This is what I decided to compromise on. It looked like a one in the beginning. Okay, one so argument going to jump like, to that word. Everybody going to throw that motherfucking word out. It's compromise. I compromised for this. Now we not doing like I sacrificed for this. And mm -hmm. that's where they go down to. I say this. I see both ends. I my, see both y'all. No, Snoop, it's not sad. Sword. It is not sad. And that's what I'm saying, man. And What's up? That's why I hate oh, talking about relationships to people, bro. Man. Because y'all all y'all all so hellbound on making your personal interests and your personal likes like your opinion on what a relationship is supposed to be. I just brought up sleeping in separate bedrooms. Snoop says, Whoa, that's sad though. No. In a relationship, sleeping in different beds. Why is that sad? My grandma. It's completely did it. possible to not want to sleep. In a bed with a person and love them to death. That nigga might snore like a motherfucker. Anything. Yeah. There could be any reason why you're doing that. So I'm like sleep wild as a motherfucker. This shit. is what I'm saying. But these be the opinions or like Jordan's opinion on like the long distance thing only working for a short amount of time. Just because y'all have y'all own personal things. Just let people be and yeah. know that like there are so many things and so many relationship styles that are successful outside of what you believe 
should work. I yeah, see people say about cheating it, and poly shit. And I'm not saying it about just that. I'm just saying more so there's compromise and all that. And if you are going into a partnership and you're not willing to compromise what you believe is how you want to live your life because now you're implementing another mentality into your life and that person is not going to be 100% be just like you. You shouldn't have been in one. You shouldn't be in one. That's all I'm saying. But you, that love, man, that love might kick just in. Just being capable of compromise is all you have. You might not ever have to compromise. That's the thing. You might be able to just make decisions and it be just that easy to say, okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, this is what we're going to do. And there's no there's no back and forth. There's no... It's crazy you know, I'm, how I see it from... I swear to God, every time you re say it, it sounds like this. It every time he says it, it sounds like it's it. I love that shit because for real, y'all both got different opinions that y'all know how to articulate and make it make sense. And I don't feel and like they're way far sense. off. They're like not I, they're I, I at see, all. Like I agree with her. Like it doesn't. You don't have to go in and and relationship doesn't have to be like misery compromise, like a bunch of shit you don't want to do, but you have to be open to it. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. I have a question. So what happens when? You you always gotta compromise. Nigga, I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of trying like to compromise. Everything, everything we compromise. God damn. Everything. Just let me what do you this. Do let uh, it go. I mean, there's let a lot of variables go. potentially to it, but uh it just makes me wonder why you got into the partnership with that person to begin with. Well, obviously when you get into it, shit sweet, everything flowers and you having a great time and then boom, everything starts happening. So then it's like, okay, you get over one compromise. Cut it. And mm -hmm. here come another one. Cut it. Then it's sweet. Then cut it. Y'all too far off. Like y'all too y'all too far off. And not not one of us said anything about fluidity with the relationship. We yeah. all said we coming in with like this, this is how I want this, or like understand. Where the fluidness though? Y'all yeah, y'all too far off. If you constantly yeah. making compromises, there's, there's it, no fluidity. Well, I think to it, if though. there's not a is it is the compromise just on one person or is it both people are making Usually compromises. That's what happens. It, it it'll be on one person. Yeah, if it's on one Typically, person, that's what I'm saying. Like y'all, you gotta you gotta cut it. Yeah, because if you, that means that you just constantly bend into their will. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're constantly making adjustments so that they are okay. You're constantly you know fixing a problem. You constantly like not not saying something because you don't want to like you know yeah. just you gotta cut it. And then I feel like they they would start expecting you mm -hmm. to compromise every time. Yeah, mm -hmm. too every every time they'd be like you yeah if you yeah. <laughs> You well, compromise and it's just wondering, here. I've been that. Uh, it's also just wondering, like, yeah, again, like how y'all got to this point where it's like, oh, you're only with this person what? Because they they the prettiest person you think you could get right now, or something. So within that, are you actually looking at their qualities as to like why they're the person for you? You know, mm -hmm. and if you are the one constantly having to adjust your way of life. Maybe you not with the right yeah, person, facts. you know, you just trying to be with them because they they look really good or, you know, the sex really good or whatever. But, you know, you, know, you got to look at more facets than just that. Yeah. Compromising sex? Compr no. Like, no. like in you what know, regard? No. You, know uh, you weren't on the I'm mic. Not. One more question. No. <laughs> I said, are y'all compromising sex? No. She know I'm not. That's why she no. said that shit. Okay. But you know what? I think you have. I think. You know what? I think you I'm have a, to, I'm going to pull back. I think in a relationship, I'm a, I'm a, you, got, you got to. I'll pull back. Say why you pulling back. Because, um, like, like let's just say we, we talked about, like, levels of freaky, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's just say I'm into some shit and you're not. It's not a mandatory thing for me, though. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just something I like. You don't have to do it. We can still have good sex without you doing that thing I like. So I can compromise on that. Right. I don't need it. That yeah. sounds crazy. Like, but that, if the sex still good without me getting it, like, I'm, I'm not tripping, like... I like I like my dick suck, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't suck dick good, I don't want the hit. Maybe we still have good sex. And you can still envision your person as a life partner. Uh, uh, this person as a life that. partner. You can yeah. teach that, my nigga. We talked about I, that. I, I agree you with think. you. You can teach good head, you think. my nigga. You think. <laughs> you can tell her. You can coach it. You can tell her. Way, unless you're going you to suck her dick, you can't teach no, her no, shit. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, because you can tell her what you like. Uh -huh. That don't mean that she can perform yeah. what you like. So sure. Repetition's a father of learning. So you say? We're gonna do this. <laughs> so how long you gonna get the key? We gonna one keep year? doing this, my nigga. Yeah, how you gonna it ain't gonna take a year. My coaching, it for them, ain't gonna take no year. This nigga, I'm scrupulous with this. You, shit. you got hundred percent success with rate with this, nigga. You cannot think that you the fucking okay, god of like coaching any a bitch that to wanna dick. suck my dick. Yes. I'm going to teach you how you, to. I you coach. Can, you're just gonna I tell coach. her. Coach. You're going to tell her. Man. You can't. You can't. But you can't be like, no, nah, I'm gonna teach her. It ain't gonna take long. She gonna. No. I ain't saying I'm about to lead by example. You gonna I almost did some shit. She gonna. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be doing it, my nigga. I promise you. Huh? I have a high success rate for teaching bitches to suck my dick. Not everybody's dick. My dick, everyone I fucked with. All I'm if saying, I don't like it, you're not doing it. I've, I've, I've literally, I've literally told women how to, what to, 
and they still. But don't. your patients are shot. You have your patience. My patience. Shot. Shot. You just How said you're not you gonna teach a bitch quick. What do you How mean, many, my patience? Shot. How many times you just said it's not gonna take you no time to it's teach not gonna a bitch? Because time. you, you talked about a year. He said a year. Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Because I want her, so I want her to do, be good. But so what if it's what if, my time. what if she not good she after that year it. though? What, what you mean a year? <laughs> no, three sixty five, nigga. She ain't doing that, nigga. Repetition, nigga. Okay, repetition. The father learned. Bad repetition. Repetition ain't gonna be. <laughs> she gonna. It's gonna be a couple times. Somebody I'm not sitting there saying after five, my nigga. But I'm willing to. If I'm fucking with you, I'm willing to go the distance with you. You gonna become that though. I okay. promise you, I'm gonna catch you off guard and just okay, pull the willy out, and then you gonna do it. Then there, I'm, she gonna get it. Oh, okay. I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you, you she gonna, gonna get you it. You gonna hope she gonna but get so, it. I'm gonna tell you she gonna get it. So this is my Every question. Every bitch then. I fucked with has gotten it. Is this a <laughs> compromise then? What? Him willing to coach her? Is that a compromise from him? No, nah. a compromise will be him being okay. No, I want to do that. Him, him, him being okay with her not same. being good at it is like, a compromise. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's just her compromise. That's what he was talking about. He's not good at it. He said he was compromising. Yeah. That's but that, but that's being but I, he's a, he's no I'm saying he was his example earlier he was talking about that's him compromised like she yeah. can't suck dick it's okay not a, don't and 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 not that she don't want to because some I I've, I've had women who want to like I want to give you head though and I'm like but I don't want that shit it's it's bad I don't even want I don't even want to keep trying to teach you money I I did this three times you don't got it yet you probably not gonna get it stay off my dick oh my god but so with with Key's point though um. He said he's not open to compromise, but I feel like he is if he's willing to coach someone who's willing to no, learn. That's not compromise. That's a teacher. Right? You're I'm bringing ready. her that's... over to what you want. No, that's no, no. I'm compromise. saying she's compromising though, so he's open to the compromise, but it's from the other person. What is she compromising? That she sucked dick bad. <laughs> that she was willing to learn. That's not a compromise, nigga. That's not a compromise. What are you? What are you talking about? You on this word compromise? Why are you so fucked up? Not it's not our first episode where like compromise and you were just like because, fleeting each other. Because I don't think it's fleeting, bro. I think if she's not good at it mm -hmm. and she doesn't come into it, so she's not confident doing it or whatever. So every relationship she's been in, she doesn't really do it. But he's saying I the only way you could be with me. Is if you were willing to learn, that's a compromise. Yeah, no. I see what he's saying. That is a compromise. I was gonna say I see it from both of no, you, but no, no, I see no, no, what no, he's no, saying. I see she it. Wants I swear. To do it, but she doesn't know how to do it, or she's not it's doing not a it fucking well. Compromise. The <laughs> only way that she will be compromising in that situation is the fact that she wants to do it, but he tells her, "Nah, I'm good. You, I don't want you to do it." And so, even though she wants to, she says, "You know what? All right, I won't even try to do it." That's where she comes. Or if she okay. don't want to at all, uh -huh, because she thinks and he's she knows like, she suck. Come nah, on, period. Gotcha. If she don't want to suck dick. And oh, yeah, you want right. your dick sucked, and uh -huh. she learns how to. That's, that's a, a compromise. compromise. Yeah, that's what a compromise. you are talking about is not a compromise. I think it still is, though. Bro. He, I, I feel like he said the same way. He said that same way. He did say that exact same way. Her, I heard it that way. No, because we were talking about her being bad at it, uh -huh. not her not wanting to do it. Right, but that's what he's saying. She's bad at it, but she's willing to let me. She, she like, cause she's so bad at she don't even want to do it. She no, don't even want to perform. That's not what we said. That's, that's not what he was saying. I think that is a compromise, bro. If she, if that's what he was saying. So no, look, it's not. Nigga, have, we were talking about her is. being bad at sucking dick. Yeah, so but you're look, teaching right. her. So is that a compromise? That is he not a compromise. He was talking about. He said. He said, "What if she is bad at it, and you know she might not even want to do it." Because she's bad at it, she tells you that. Like, I'm is that what you said? Yeah, but it's not just that in that di that dynamic though. There is a compromise. If his stipulation to be with somebody is in sex, you have to give me good head. Okay. She's not good at head, but he still fucks with her. There's some compromise that they have to come to where she gets good at head so that they can be together. That's a compromise. I didn't even say good head. First of all. Just well, give me head, and then we can make no, it better. Don't suck my we can make it better. No, I'm just saying. Stay though. the fuck away from my. I want. <laughs> I want don't some touch head, it. Put it my down. nigga. I want some head. Put it, put it I down. want some head, and I will Lord. tell you if it's good or not like that. Put it the fuck. And then we gonna work through this. But I want her, so I'm gonna. I'm willing to take my time, be patient with her. And see, and I think that's a compromise from you. Then it's not a compromise. No. <laughs> It is. That is a compromise. No, if he's if he's saying typically he don't want to be with somebody that don't give head. God. That's him accepting her and saying, listen, baby, I'm going to teach you. We ain't compromising. Because <laughs> once he teaches it her. His is about a book. Y'all saying it in a flyway. No His shit is really no, structured once, by the book. Y'all is the flyway. Her, there's no compromise. The only compromise is if you say, okay, I'm not going to force you or I'm not going to make you or expect you to do this. Do not worry about it. We can go hey. on in can we, life can we take and it not sex? worry about no motherfucking yeah. can, we, can we take it off we, sex? Been, yeah, let's, 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 let's make the thing. We, we've had the compromise conversation Thank you, before. Compromise. I just feel so, like but we here, here this out. Here this out. Okay. So we're talking about teaching, right? Yeah, From right. bad to good, compromise. So here's y'all telling me that a basketball player who's average has a coach who wants him to be better. 
athlete wants to be better. We're making a compromise? No, you're saying yeah. wants to. He's at Nigga. first. What you were saying it was. How oh, is wait, this what? A thing? What? Because uh, okay, they if both you want to be out, better. Yeah, no, if you try now, if you try, that's what I'm telling y'all. Y'all talk about you. No, I'm saying he said the other one. Let me say it like this. I still feel like that's a compromise. Coach and player is compromising. Listen, if the coach is picking players he wants on the team, and the typical player he wants on the team is good at basketball, but he's picking his average one because it has other qualities that he thinks are good for the team, and he's willing to coach him up in other regards, he's making a compromise for how he typically selects the team or selects selects players for the team because mm-hmm. he likes this person's qualities. The play, yes, the that's a compromise. a compromise. That's a risk. The player's nigga. making a compromise that's a, and the coach a making a compromise. Well, compromise no, I think the coach is at that you, point. But you see how you variable that motherfucker? Yeah, but that's the same variable as this that same situation. Not, you're talking about picking somebody over somebody. Yes. Right? That's a risk. We're, but we are not talking about that. We're talking about a woman who you chose not over anybody else, so you're variable in this shit, no, so you can get it, no, so you no, can be no, no. right. Because I feel like whoever you're picking is over everybody else, is, uh, is over the pickings. Because with him, he likes this girl a lot, okay. and he's like, typically, I don't budge on this. So the coach likes this fuck player with you a lot. So, yeah, so I don't, I, so I typically won't do this, but I fuck with you so much, because of all of your other qualities, that I'm willing to work with you on this, and I typically don't. I just so, don't see that as a compromise. I do, I do see that as a compromise. It, it is a fucking exception. That's what. That's exactly what the, that's, that's an exception. You are accepting that she doesn't, you are not compromising, because you want to teach her. If you were compromising, you would not get your dick sucked. That's the fucking I think compromise. Also, I think those are both compromises. No I do. Way, I do. You are actually bringing her over to what you want. That is not a compromise. That's exactly what a compromise is. That's what you want. It's the same thing with the health. You are bringing mm-hmm. her over to what you want that the relationship to be. She does not want to. Not <laughs> the fact that she can't. It's okay. I don't think. I, I don't think compromise is just uh, want though. I feel like there is also uh, if the person can't do it. Or is unable to do something, you are still willing to compromise your feelings towards that action. How are you willing to compromise if you want, if you bringing them over? That is not compromising, my nigga. If you are trying to teach them what you want so they can do what you want, you are not compromising. Because if they can't do it, you won't be with them, Trey. I hate that word. No, compromise is you still be with them if they can't do it. He's saying he won't. Hold on, what am I saying? That she has to, she has to be able and willing to get (laughs) better at this shit. No, but no, but time out. No, your example that you gave that I was on your side with is when you (laughs) said that. If she, you were talking about personally, the female, she is like uncomfortable giving head. She knows she's not good at it. And she's willing to let you teach her to give head. Right. Mm -hmm. That's compromising. So what's the difference though, Key? How how does that example go different then? Well, because you talking, what was the other one? You tell me the other one. The other one is just in general where it's like, hey, if she can't do this, we not going to be together, bro. No, she don't do this. No, not can't. Don't. So you cool with her just using teeth for five years it's, and shit? It's head. I'm going to teach you. But okay. if she right. can't. I, I thought she, you were saying no, like no, it, said, it she has don't to be suitable. No, no. If she don't give head, okay. I'm not compromising. That's okay. what I'm saying. So you just want the effort then? Yeah, come on. Okay. You showed up. Okay. There's no that's what, I guess that's that. what, I guess that's where I, 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 I misheard the story. <laughs> because I you won't fucking saying, listen. No, I am listening. <laughs> I am listening. I've reiterated the the like the minor details. That, but, that make me and your statements completely fucking different. But I'm saying, how, who's who's going into this thinking that in the example that you cool with a person using teeth and shit like that? <laughs> I would assume that. I would assume that. Chill, chill. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. To chill. your point where you're saying you, you, you would just say, we can't do it. Cause, cause, yeah. I, cause I can't, I can't deal with this. Where he's saying he, he respects want, the effort. I didn't think he was compromise saying that. Compromise to right. us continuing to have sex. Right. Is that oh. she does not oh. suck dick. Oh, that's different. I was saying if I was with her, I was saying if I was still I, fucking her. I, 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 okay, I was talking about I'm with her. This, I mean with her. <laughs> I'm sorry if I was trying to be with her. My bad. That's what I was saying. I don't like I being in the crazy, middle now. What's that? You, you, you missed you miss the first out, you missed the first episode that me and Trey went at this about compromise. So this is, yeah. this is that nigga, yeah. Hey, when you said definitive, <laughs> yeah. I got so weak. <laughs> you're not compromising, right? Oh you're not shit. No, I, if I'm in a partnership with somebody, I'm compromising for sure. You have to. That's what yeah, I about. have to. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I'm saying more so. If you can't compromise, you shouldn't be in a partnership. And I, I feel like these little decisions, I feel like every little intricacy is a little compromise. Because if it's not what you typically do in your day to day as a single person. If you're trying to learn how to do it, that means you you're not fucking compromised. I don't think it's that person's compromise. I think it's the other person's compromise who's willing to let them learn. Because typically, 
they'll say, like I said, with the basketball coach, I typically only want seasoned players, you know, but you know, you got other qualities, like you could be a good teammate, your communication good, all these certain things. So I'm willing to work with you on your jump shot. That's a compromise from the coach picking the team, in my opinion. What about true wealth? <laughs> <laughs> Is there such thing as true wealth? <laughs> That's all I know, yo. So I appreciate the same way. Yeah. It, <laughs> true wealth. It, what, what is y'all perspective on true wealth? <laughs> I would have to hear more on the true I word. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even, I was like, I ain't even gonna go down this lane. Because I, 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 I've been down there. I, we was in that last time. Oh, we was in that whole And they still on the same compromise. heat of shit, huh? I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't there for that Yeah, we was, we was in the whole thing about like compromise. The, but you know, you know what, what it, though? It was him and, it was them yeah. two on, on one page. And me and Snoop on a different page on what compromise. Oh, that, yeah, on yeah. what compromise is. They was both, they was, yeah. they was sitting over here. No, uh, Snoop and, Snoop and, uh, Snoop was in my spot. And me and Jordan, so like it was like one and one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Y'all going at it. Oh, we're, going, we're, we're it, going at it for a minute. It was mm -hmm. it got it got tough, bro. On compromise. I'm so <laughs> in between on it because I, I can hear what he's saying. His shit's super. By, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. sorry. By the book. His shit's by the book. I, no. I feel like his shit's so by. Y'all is so fly though with it. No. I see it like that. I see. I see it. No. I'm, I'm telling you, I see it like that. I feel like what Jordan is saying I, over and over is an exception. That is the word that is going to be used properly to even the coaching thing that you're talking about. That coach yeah. makes an exception. Nigga, that is not... First of all, oh, you're telling damn. me exception and compromise are... Not the same thing, but I think that... Completely well, different, nigga. I don't think they're completely different either. I think you can compromise to make an exception. Can we do the true wealth? Yeah. <laughs> can we do I, the true wealth? I, 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 I feel strongly about this. Can we do the true I, wealth? You know what, though? The, how I... Uh, how I came to my understanding of it was because I was talking to my homegirl about it. Because we, when, we when we got on the topic, it was about pregnancy. That, that was the one we said. Mm -hmm. uh, a woman yeah, compromises. Y'all saying that she compromises her body. Yes, yes. For, you know, to get pregnant. Yes. Oh, hell. Yes. And, and I was, I was like, like, that's, that's not, not a compromise. compromise? Nah. Yeah. Like, that's evolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's evolution. You ain't compromising shit. You don't shit. think that's yeah. compromise? Hell no. You no. bring, man, that's evolution, honey. The, the, the convo was about her, her holding out on sex. Because she don't feel sexy, like not like oh. she's she's medically nothing. Oh. She just don't feel sexy because she's That's pregnant, crazy. so she don't want to have sex. And niggas was like, these dudes was like, well, she don't feel sexy because she's carrying your baby. So like she had to compromise her body. And I'm like, nigga, that's not a compromise. Mm. Like y'all y'all had sex. Yeah. So like, well, there's I feel like y'all <laughs> shit. Like I can't lie, I don't want to go back down this road. <laughs> <'cause>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I already see Swab over there. It's, it's so lip it's twitching. No, it's just... no, I, I, I so came to well. I came to the understanding though because I actually talked to um, a couple of women who was like pregnant and they were like, "No, that's not a compromise." But they explained why. But me and Snoop and like, okay, tried to explain that to y'all because y'all yeah. have not had pregnant women. Mm -hmm. So me and Snoop, mm -hmm. from experience, are telling y'all, "Nigga, that's not how that works." Y'all yeah. feel like that because y'all got love for pregnant women. Y'all have never been with one, but mm -hmm. nigga, I know for a fact that like that's just not. Man, I did, dog. This is yeah. At the end of the day, she, I she did, making a choice. Nigga, it was crazy. I never again. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, never again. And that was yeah. But yeah, at the end of the day, that's what I it is. Fucked the pregnant it's because you you care about women. Pregnant with your baby? No, oh. I ain't got no kids. Oh, what you said? You said that you'd never do it again. I, nah, I won't do that again. You won't hit another you pregnant bitch. I felt you weird. I felt so weird. Why? I was just young. I was young. young. Why you feel weird? I was I was young. I was horny and shit. Why did you feel? Because that's not my bitch? fucking kid. And you ain't fucking a kid. That's crazy though. That kid up in that belly, all the way up in the belly, in a womb eight and everything, months. my nigga. You're not even getting close. My freakness was my weakness, nigga. At that age, man, I hit a pregnancy oh today, nigga. God, no I can't fuck. believe I did it though. I, I still to the day I think about like, damn, I did that. Things that happen during the pregnancy in the womb body, and I I was offered some pregnant vagina one time. Oh my god. I was like, no. I'm in there knocking that, knocking, that's poking that baby in the head, nigga. No problem. Oh man, no, no I just can't believe, I can't believe I did it. I can't believe she she did it. Yeah, I'm 17. You yeah, know, fucks. Yeah, that was wild, nigga. I can't. You yeah. ain't got no diseases, nigga. You just got no. I ain't got nothing. I'm no, talking about her. She it. ain't like she ain't got nothing crazy going on. So we're like, you, it's no, dangerous. No, nigga. it's just wild. It's got a belly. Just turn fucking, around. I'm fucking somebody else's <laughs> pregnant. I don't know, man. 
I couldn't do it, dog. So she 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 got to be on timeout for her for her little nine months. No, no, no. She better just keep her nigga. I don't know. She don't got the nigga no more. So now what? Yeah, that's she true. she shit out of luck on dick. I don't know, man. Tag me in. I was so young. <laughs> what's your what's your mindset on it though? Like, what do you honestly? Why is I was, it weird for you? It's weird. When I think about it now. Just hearing it, it just all came back to me. I completely forgot till this conversation. Oh. I swear to you. And <laughs> I felt weird after, you, huh? And she was attracted to you. I was horn. I, yeah, she was. She had to be. Yeah, she had to be. She had to be. Because of the belly or just because of her? Hell no, nah, that would be weird as fuck. <laughs> you ain't going to catch me on no weird shit on this woman. <laughs> it's something Hell no. Nah. Nah, nah, she really like that. She she got pregnant me. Pregnant porn. Like. No, no, no. Pregnant porn is crazy. Just just hearing that sounds crazy. I never. I can I imagine never. somebody looking it up. <laughs> yeah, I was, a, man, I was a kid. I was a kid. It's a, it's sure. a genre. I believe That's it. That's a real genre, man. The genres right. out there is. What's our takeaway? People, Compromise. people weird. <laughs> yeah. <I guess>, uh, <laughs> people weird. Compromise and, accept, and ex- exceptions. Because of, of the belly. Um, unbiased opinions, man. You know what I mean? Every, everybody got their own opinion. Nah, bro, I love it. I love it so I love much. It, I love, Even me and Jordan, man. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm a, yeah. I love it. 100%. I guess that'd be my so more so my takeaway, like. Uh, when having like dynamics of respect, sometimes the emotions. I think I, I said this last time this happened too, but like emotions can get high. But if there's like a respect there, you you understand yeah. it's both coming from a good place. We just, you know, and it, and it'd be different. Like if if I disagreed with you and I was like, man, that's some stupid ass shit. They always say dumb ass shit, niggas. And then him walk that out. That type of shit, right? Yeah. But like <laughs> niggas don't do that. We just disagree, <laughs> and that's fine. Tag like we can in. we can do that. Like, Tag me in is the, is the takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know what though shit. i i like episodes like this hell yeah you know what because it, it, it shows like the diversity of opinions mm-hmm. like everybody mm-hmm. has like a different mind frame on how they think and approach things and it shows what we always be telling people is like we all have different perspectives you know like everybody has a different perspective and people need to understand that so i think that's a good thing with episodes that's like this because you're able to see we don't always agree mm-hmm. on this couch like on, on both of these couches, and that's a big deal. You know, people want us to have; they want us to have more women on, right? Because mm-hmm. they want the opposite. You know, but we can have, like, with men, we can have opposite views. Yeah. Just because we men don't mean we always on the same page. Y'all do that shit when we agree mm-hmm. and be like, y'all need to have women on. No, y'all need to watch episodes where we disagree on shit, mm-hmm. like this one. Like, <laughs> yeah. niggas don't see eye to eye, and yeah. we can have a, a a healthy conversation. Like y'all need to learn how to fucking have in life, where y'all can disagree with people instead of being like nasty about it. Yeah, it's possible. That's one hundred percent possible. Thanks for having me. No, thank you for coming, man. And you still, she still yeah. swayed her way to the little sex talk. Nah, I mean, she still had a show. Did. She still had a. She you saw, a you there. did that I shit. Did. You doing that? Yeah. That was you. <laughs> Swerved swerve right over. Yeah, she did that he, one. He knew you was gonna do it. Yeah, I was playing. <laughs> Y'all was arguing about compromise. Or <laughs> she said, "Let me throw a curveball in here for you." <laughs> <laughs> I like I, honestly. I fuck it. with that dude. Like I, I hate when, um, like when we get into that type of shit and then we want to switch the topic because. It's a healthy getting, conversation. Yeah. You feel me? Like even in going back and forth, it was like different, a different angle. You feel me? Okay, well, what about if it's this way? And that's that's cool if it's dragging and it's not like it's not trash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just an extended conversation about a thing. We would do that in person without mics. Mm-hmm. Niggas would sit around and just talk right. about a thing. You in a barbershop and y'all sit around in a barbershop for an hour and a half and talk about one thing. Mm-hmm. Nobody gonna be like, man, we need to change the subject. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> like Niggas just have the conversation, and I feel like that's what we do. I like that. Yeah, it was good because you're able to see that. You're able to see the build. You're able to see the different perspectives and the arguments, and I think I think it's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to watch more episodes like this. So if y'all want us to to see us argue, because y'all <laughs> like the drama, debates. Y'all want to see the yeah. back and forth. This is what y'all want to tune into. Yeah, these are the episodes. Find the episode about compromise. It's yeah. Two any, any, <laughs> call it that. Anytime it's we have two compromise on here, you know, it's, compromise be part two. Beef. It's, it's crazy because it all stemmed from uh, uh, unconditional, unconditional love. love. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Yeah. That shit conditional to me. I think all of it is. Yeah. If we're gonna be real, I think all love is conditional. Yeah. Except yeah. love. Except for love for children. Uh, mm-hmm. When you're an adult, yeah. After we done been through life and we done formulated our what we like and shit, I feel like that's when the conditions come in. Mm-hmm. But and when I, you blindly in love, when you first in love one time, nigga, I tell I tell people that all the time. I yeah. hear that like kids know what true love is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They haven't been tainted. Yeah, that's we feel like, nah, you don't love me because you're doing blank, blank, blank. Uh-huh. Kids don't feel like that. Kids make friends first day. Mm-hmm. They like that's my friend. And what you do as a grown up, that's not your friend. Mm-hmm. 
You, I know. Know, you don't even know him. But like a they years, feel like genuinely off. like mm-hmm. that's my friend. I love him. Like kids are that way. They have not been fucked over been to where they have this idea mm-hmm. of what love looks like. It's just a feeling. Yeah. Man, yeah. 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 People I had a... that don't allow like the things to sink in, even as adults. Yeah. Like Ooh. they can get cheated on or done wrong and it's like, okay, I love again. I love again. Mm-hmm. And those are the people that you want to be around. You start having your guard up a lot more, a lot more. No, you don't even have your guard up. I mean, you know not, you know the flags, you know. The fact that you know flags is setting the condition. But, but that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is tainted. That's tainted. That's tainted. That love. exactly yeah. what it, what tainted is, is what I'm saying. Though Those red flags that you know now. Being aware. But you, yeah. because of be your aware experiences. Being aware to be alive. That's, being that's aware shit. and not applying it to the way you interact uh-huh. and the way you handle people is it's two different things. Outwardly. Yeah. But so. inwardly, you know you have red flags now. Mm-hmm. You've learned that through experience. Yeah, you don't have a choice in that. <laughs> and that's what that's <laughs> yeah, the difference that's between children that's and adults. Kid. Like yeah. we have that. Even if we don't we don't even we don't take it and like give it out. Like I'm treating you different because I was treated like this. But you know inside you're like, mm, I don't like that. I had that happen before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Through experience, through love kind of tame you a little bit. So now you have an idea. This motherfucker don't love me. I had a motherfucker treat me like that. He didn't love me. Mm-hmm. Kids don't have that. Kids, just, you beat the shit out of kids today. I go home, beat my kid ass in the morning. They hug me, they kiss me, they love me today. He not really gonna do that, y'all. Don't, don't. <laughs> I would do that. I don't know. Don't tell him that about me. <laughs> I go home, beat the shit out of my kid. But that, I think that's no, also why I like you about to randomly do it. Just yeah, right now, I'm going home, just gonna do it for, to, to make a point. <laughs> but I think that's I why we grow up, it. and when we mature, we 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 reflect on that sort of childhood traumas and stuff too, because yeah. you don't realize it in those those ages, because you you don't have that experience. Yeah. Whereas as you grow up, then you could reflect back on it. You like, yeah, we ain't have the words to even bring that. We didn't even know how to articulate. I had to yeah. read to start understanding who I was as a kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can put it to words because I can always think of it, but the fact that I couldn't speak it, I didn't know what I was experiencing, what I was going through. I found yeah. the words to fit those or to, you know, bring that to life, those descriptions. Yeah, I saw some. Yeah, I, I saw I had a crazy experience with my nephew that showed unconditional love. And it was just you really see it in kids and dogs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, dogs for 100%. sure. 100%. Mm. Damn, I don't know nothing about animals. Yeah, you, you. I don't. I don't know nothing about animals. You can yell I, yeah. at a dog, and five seconds later, they'll be right, right on your lap, looking mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. <laughs> we chilling, <laughs> like, we chilling. <laughs> and then dogs also know your emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever been sad around your dog? Your dog will come right up to you. No, I that's crazy. Show you some love, yeah. But yeah, we appreciate you guys for tapping in to another episode. You know, we appreciate you for coming in and guesting again with us, Blue. Yeah. Yeah. You got the guru. Yes. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. you always. And show us some love on the on the pages. You guys already know I ain't even finna go to this through the spiel. Y'all just heard a whole <laughs> argument. So <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't even need it to We ain't compromising with y'all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get your, get your, <laughs> and making no exceptions yeah, either. No exceptions, fun, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> As Blue said, get your points. Get your, get, get get your, your points point. on here. So Not yeah. This week. Come in the live. Get your points. Be back in the comments. <laughs> but yeah we appreciate you guys and we'll see you guys on the next one yeah. peace y'all be smooth